here is my food tracker from last week so you can see all of my calories and all the different foods that I ate. Um, for last Sunday, I had just a couple carbs and you can see my protein and fat were a little bit low, calories were a little bit low. Um, that's the day where I just made the grilled pork shank or the baked, sorry, pork shank in the oven. Um, I started at like midnight and then at around like one in the afternoon, I started cooking some green beans and a few other things. The, um, but I only ate the ham and the green beans. And then on Monday, I had two eggs for breakfast, a wrap for lunch, and this is the day where I went to Cheddar's, and you can see, you know, net carbs and calorie totals on everything was <laughs> really high. Um, the any one item by themselves, the croissants, the pasta, the fries, or the Monte Cristo little fourth of a Monte Cristo sandwich um, by themselves, each one of those were over my net carbs for the day. And 207.5 net carbs and almost 3,000 calories. So that was a pretty high day. And then on Tuesday, just eggs for breakfast, another wrap, and a salad with some of that leftover ham that I diced and put into a skillet and add a little bit of hot sauce. On Wednesday, two eggs for breakfast, a wrap for lunch, and another salad. But this time I used some of the frozen grilled chicken bits, put them in a skillet to heat them up, add a little bit of hot sauce, had a little buffalo chicken salad. Thursday, two eggs for breakfast, a wrap for lunch, and another salad, but I was running low on the chicken, so I had some frozen shrimp, and I mixed that with the chicken after the chicken cooked for a little bit, because the shrimp don't eat as long to cook. Uh, otherwise, they can get rubbery, no. but another buffalo-style salad. And then on Friday, I had a wrap for breakfast. And then for dinner, I had a shrimp and hot sauce salad. And then Saturday, a little bit higher numbers on Saturday, a little bit high on the calories, a little bit high on the fat. And protein was on the upper end of the range, but still so good. I had two eggs two pieces of bacon, uh, a Tennessee Pride sausage, it's in the one pound log and I cut it up. And here's what I ate for our lunch when we went out to Golden Corral. The bits of steak and a salad that had, I also had the green peppers, uh, a couple of green peppers on the salad and then ranch. And for dinner, we got a some stuff to take home. I got a pork salad, so it's pulled pork, ranch dressing, and shredded iceberg lettuce. And then I also had one of those peanut butter keto coffees. Um, that was it for Saturday. And here's my tracker. Shows you everything that I had during the week. Um... You know, I've been eating a lot of eggs consistently, uh, 12 to 15 eggs a week, um, depending on what is on sale. I might have large or jumbo. Uh, this week it was large. Uh, still a lot of salad. And the blue cheese dressing actually has lower net carbs than their ranch dressing. So that actually works in my favor. I can have a little bit more if I want to, and I don't necessarily feel as bad about it. Um, 
the hot sauce doesn't have any calories at all, so uh, if you're wanting some additional flavor and um, another texture, a little bit of hot sauce can, can help stretch things out a little bit. And, of course, a lot of salad. So when you look at it one day by itself, you know, of course, Monday was pretty big, but overall, you know, across the whole week, wasn't too bad. You can see my numbers are a little bit high with the carbs because that is so much higher than these others. So, but that was week seven, and I lost four pounds eating all of this this week. Thank you for watching.